Oh my gosh, this makeup's been on for like 27 hours. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about some cheap, inexpensive, cruelty-free skincare. I've been wanting to do this one for a while actually, and I haven't gotten around to it, finally doing it. So we're gonna be doing um, a, a review on the e.l.f. skincare, very affordable. Um, this is like $4. So I'm interested to see how this works because as someone who wears usually a lot of makeup, you know how when you buy skincare, you buy like a face wash or whatever and you're just waiting to see if it's gonna break down makeup the way that it says it's going to because there's makeup wearers and then there are makeup wearers. So can it break through this 20 pounds of makeup that I have on right now? Can it? So that's kind of the test here. I'm interested to see, not, not the only test, but I'm interested first and foremost to see if it can break down all of this makeup that I have on right now. And then I'd like to feel it on my skin and I'm looking for really soft, smooth, wonderful, hydrated feeling skin. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Um, we got a few things to do first though. Pull my hoops. Get the hair out of my face. I'm gonna pull these little eyelashes off. That was not pleasant. I've got my handy dandy um, soup bowl full of warm water. Uh, first, we're gonna start off with the Daily Face Cleanser with Purified Water. Now, this is four freaking dollars. You gently massage it into the face, rinse with water and pat dry using a soft cloth. Use twice daily, so they're suggesting that you use it in the AM and the PM. Washes away dirt and makeup with our gentle, soothing cleanser infused with purified water to hydrate the skin. Our formula leaves skin feeling clean and renewed. Does it now? For $4, I'm not convinced yet. I hate these. I hate them. They can all go to hell. Ooh. Ooh, that smells so good. That's what I want my whole life to smell like, like this right here. It smells like so clean. Oh yeah, I'm really down with that smell. That smell smells amazing. Oh, why am I wearing this dress right now? Okay, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta take this off. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting here topless, but it's gotta happen. There's those little annoying buttons in the back that you always need someone else to do for you. Not today. <gasps> Okay, no one has to know that I'm naked down here. Well, you do now, because I just told you, but. All right, my fingers are damp. You get a lot of, uh, this is um, five fluid ounces. Like, this is a lot in here. Oh, it smells so, so bomb. We're just gonna go in. Now, this is a good test to see if this is able to melt away liquid lipstick, because liquid lipstick, never wants to come off. It looks like I did a pretty good job of uh, getting rid of the makeup. My face is gonna turn beet red, because that's what it does anytime I touch it. Did a pretty good job removing the eye makeup. All of my mascara is completely still on now. Like this is not a waterproof mascara, like what's happening? Oh, my eye burns! Don't get it in your eye. It did a pretty good job removing the liquid lipstick. I mean, not perfect, but a lot better than some cleansers that I've used that kind of don't like disturb the lipstick at all. You get out of the shower and you just have like, raccoon eyes and then like liquid lipstick. And you're like, what happened to my face? Like what's, what did I just wash my face for? Sorry, I just got excited. Not bad, not bad. It did a pretty good job removing the makeup. Pretty pleased with that. And uh, it, it, uh, it removed the eye makeup pretty good. And the lipstick, not bad. I'm pretty impressed actually. I didn't even think it was gonna be that good. What I like too is like, there's not a whole like shit ton of ingredients in this. Like there's some here, but it's not like that many. And I was a little concerned. I'm like $4, what kind of ingredients are in there? But it's actually pretty good. We're gonna use a makeup wipe that is not e.l.f. just to get rid of the rest of this eye makeup here. When a brand makes a face wash that gets rid of your eye makeup in the same fell swoop, they're gonna be winning. I have rat, do you see the scratches on my chest for my rats? Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. I was gonna use this um, to help uh, get my makeup off and I completely forgot to use it. This supposedly just gives you a nice radiant looking complexion and a deep 
uh, cleanse for the skin, but we don't get to explore this today because I am a YouTube professional and I completely forgot to use it, sorry. So we're gonna be using the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant and Rich Skin Protection Recharging Magnetic Mask Kit. So this is one of those ones that you like, mm, this has never been opened before. <laughs> this is the one that like you put on, you leave for five to 10 minutes, and you, it's, it's magnetic. So part of me feels like a lot of these are just novelty. Like, like how many people can we get to use this because it's magnetic and interesting and it'll make for a good thumbnail, which is probably what I used for this video. It looks like this, it comes in this little guy. This one is the most expensive out of the whole thing. It's $24 and it is, I printed out some like information here because I have the memory of a goldfish. Um, so it's a lightweight magnetic mask enriched with antioxidants to help replenish and recharge the skin while minimizing the appearance of pores for soft, smooth, makeup ready skin. It's kind of cool. The packaging's like a little like, not holographic, okay? I know everyone freaks out when I call iridescent things holographic. It's holographic. Just kidding, it's iridescent. Or is it both? I'm not sure. It comes with these little covers. So you can put this on here and you've got easy cleanup. Now I'm glad they thought about that because I feel like I've used one of these before and it was really annoying. I'm like, well, never using that again. I'm just lazy, I'm a lazy person. So it also has this side right here so you can scoop it out and put it on your skin. I just, I'm not really about that. I'll just use a brush or something. Comes in this. I'm all about antioxidants though, so. There it is, there we go. I'm just gonna throw away this top. I absolutely hate those. I think they're really annoying and unnecessary. Let's get a big fat brush. Oh, it's an interesting consistency. Oh, whoa, I'm making a serious mess. It's like weird, it's like whipped charcoal. What am I using? What's this thing called again? What's my name? What year is it? Directions, with the scoop side of the magnetic tool, apply mask to a clean, dry face. They don't say how much to apply, so I guess it's up to me. Uh, the combative mask is formulated with powerful magnetic properties and key antioxidants, carrot seed oil, sunflower seed oil, vitamin C, vitamin E, and argon, 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 argon oil. Uh, to replenish your skin and help protect against everyday environmental aggressors. Down for that, we live in California. There's a lot of them. Skin is left super soft recharge and they also suggest that you do not remove the excess, like don't rinse your face after sort of a thing. Like you're just supposed to um, take it off with the magnetic thing and then leave what's left. It feels weird on my skin. It doesn't, it feels like oil. Like it doesn't feel like wet. Like, does that make sense? Oh, I smell orange oil. Did I say orange oil was in this? Cause it definitely smells like, like orange peels. I feel like this is not gonna last you very long cause I've already gone through like a lot of it and only half my face is covered. <laughs> Thank God I don't have a giant forehead. We might be in trouble here, folks. I'm not adding a thick layer either. Like just, you know, adding what feels appropriate. Feels so weird. It's starting to slightly burn. <laughs> I feel burning. It is burning, like it, ow, right right there. I'm really feeling that. That's as far as we're gonna take it there. Burns. Alrighty then. We're gonna set our timer for five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna, let's go halfway. Let's just do seven and a half and call it a day. What am I going to do for seven minutes? Feels like my skin is suffocating. My skin better be real soft when this is all over. Pick your nose without ruining the mask. <laughs> All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Ah! Ah! I've never done this before. This is weird. Look how it's on there. That's crazy looking. Oh, that feels so weird. Oh, that's so crazy looking. Do I wipe this off like as I go? Is that like? Part of it? This is so weird. It's like I'm focusing so hard not to touch it onto my face. I'm just like wiping off what's getting on there. Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. I feel like for the most part, this is just like a gimmick though. Cause like, honestly, why would removing it this way change anything? It already did what it was gonna do if it was gonna do something, you know? It is fun though. Seems like you have to get it really close to get it off though. I don't know why I'm like super freaked out to get this like near my eyes. Like it's gonna suck my eyes out of their sockets or something. Like, I don't know what I'm tripping on. It's like not 
gonna happen. I have to say this magnet worked like a lot better than I thought it did. Like I thought I was gonna be like really wiping a lot of this off, but it pretty much got all of it. What is in the actual mask that makes it like stick to this like a, like a metal would? What is that? Okay, I'm gonna wipe off this excess. Interesting, easy peasy cleanup, boom. Somehow it's like still got inside on it though, so. Okay, my face is still burning a little bit. Oh, wow. Dang, my skin feels really good. I feel like there's a lot of oil in it, in that stuff though, because it felt like my skin wasn't breathing while it was on, so that makes sense why my skin feels super like soft right now, because I'm pretty sure there was just tons of oil in it. it. Feels really soft and nice though. Oh, so it's got iron powder in it. That's what does it, that's what does it. Yeah, so it's got, uh, yeah, the carrot seed oil, um, sunflower seed oil, kernel oil. So yeah, it's got a bunch of oil in it. That's why your face feels like really smooth after. So I'm sure all those oils are really good for your face, but like it's the oil. That's why your face feels smooth. I'll admit that was pretty, pretty, pretty fun. Next we have the nourishing night cream right here. This is the perfect formula to nourish your skin. That's implied. The soothing cream is filled with skin hydrating ingredients that are infused with jojoba, aloe, Cucumber and shea butter. I like how this little tab on here looks like a little um, a little leaf. Throw it away because I hate those. All right, so here we go. This smells like holistic and like, it smells like Whole Foods in a jar. Like it doesn't smell like the other one did, which is fine with me because that tends to mean there's a lot of oil in it when it smells very fragrant. None of these really specify whether they, like what type of skin they're for, so that kind of puts me off a little bit because I really don't believe that for skincare, there's like a, a fits all kind of skincare regimen, if that makes sense. Like maybe, but like I feel like since that one mask had a bunch of oil in it, if you have super oily skin, you wouldn't necessarily want to use that, you know? So this helps rehydrate and refresh skin overnight for glowing, healthy looking skin. It feels really nice. This also has jojoba seed oil, fruit extract, and that's pretty much the only oil that I'm seeing in the ingredients. It feels really nice though. It feels like emollient, like it's gonna like nourishing and it's gonna soak into my skin. So that's really nice. What we're gonna do for my skin and chest, I'm gonna be using the hydrating water essence. Now I don't even really know what that means, I'm like, okay, so when do I put it on my face? So you can put this on your um, your face and your neck and stuff, and this one is $10. It's a lightweight, watery formula that glides onto skin to hydrate, leaving skin feeling refreshed and smooth, infused with purified water. So I would assume it kind of, it almost sounds like if you have really oily skin, you would use this one instead of maybe the nourishing night cream. This is pretty cool looking. Look how slowly the bubbles are going up, that's cool. You get a lot of product in here. Um, this one said to get like a cotton pad and put it on there and then dab it in your skin like that. But I'm just gonna put it straight onto my hand. It's almost like a serum. Like it doesn't feel like water, but it's like almost like a serum. So I'm just gonna put, ooh, it smells good. It smells really refreshing. It smells like a clean beach scent, like a clean beachy scent. That feels really nice and lightweight. I like that. I'm gonna put it on my hands because that is one of the first signs that someone is old as hell, is old wrinkly hands. So I am going to, I always like do my hands and skincare on my chest too. The nourishing cream said that it was, the nourishing night cream said it was lightweight and stuff, but I would definitely say that it's a bit heavier than this guy right here. This feels like something good you could put on your face like before makeup too, and it wouldn't add any oil. The nourishing night cream I would only use at night. It's pretty like emollient. All right, that is it. Now, obviously with skincare, you need to use it for a portion of time before you can really see a difference in your skin. But just by like looking at my skin and how it feels, like it looks and feels good. I don't think my pores look any smaller than they did when I started this. So that was one of the claims, but you know, not mad about it. My skin feels really nice and hydrated. And the biggest test for me, honestly, was like this daily face cleanser. Like I really wanted to see if this was gonna be able to remove the makeup and just like play with the big dogs and like get all that off. And it did a really great job and it smells absolutely amazing. So, and these were really refreshing. I liked these products. The mask was a little weird, um, but fun. Like, I don't know, I guess you're supposed to use it one to two times a week. So I, um, I don't know if I would use that again. That process of taking it off is just kind of tedious. Like, I feel like it's like, it's like, 
a one trick pony. Like you do it once and you're like, oh, okay, that's really cool and interesting, but like, I don't need to do it again. You know what I mean? I feel like that's how I'd feel about like skydiving if I ever did that. I'd be like, oh, that was like adrenaline rush. That was interesting, but like, I don't need to do it again, sort of a thing. So that's kind of how I feel about that. But I think this seems to be a great um, skincare for someone that's maybe on a budget or doesn't want to spend a whole lot on skincare. Um, the packaging is nice as well. It would make a really nice gift. So I'm impressed. I'm actually going to put this um, in my shower as well to keep trying it over the next um, couple months. I always switch up my skincare. I think it's good for your skin to do that, um, you know, and find what works best for you because your skin is always changing and stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Did you, were you impressed with how this removed the makeup? What did you think? Have you ever tried these? Um, tell me your opinions in the comments below because you know you want to. Everyone on YouTube loves to give their opinion. So I'm finally asking for it. Leave it down here in the comments below and we'll chat. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, it's very warm in here. La, 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 la. I've got boogers in my nose. I have the worst garlic breath ever. I'm like grossing myself out right now. Like go get a Tic Tac or clean your mouth, Kristen. Oh, my butt needs to be peeled off this chair. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm topless. I really can't stand up right now while I'm recording. That would be, that would be not allowed on, on YouTube and I'd have to charge you too much for that. You know what I'm saying?